This tutorial is going to show you how to maintain the lunchroom PowerPoint that plays at Lake Joy Elementary School. So this will show you how to check to make sure video still works. Sometimes the links change or someone deletes a video off of YouTube and it no longer works. So we'll show you how to do that and we'll show you what to do if you need to change videos out. If you want to put new ones in or replace the ones that no longer work. So I have the cafeteria PowerPoint up and the way you can spot the slides with videos is if you have your little slide sorter on the side you'll see some of the slides will have a white background and if you click on that slide you'll see it'll have a I call it an envelope so it looks just like a white envelope other ones and I'll click here will be solid black so you'll see some that will just have a black background that's going to show you that they do have video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on slide 12 here because it's solid white I am going to go down to this little icon in the bottom right, almost looks like a shade, and that will launch the slideshow from the current slide. So this is going to let me test to see if the video is going to open for YouTube. So first of all, make sure you are connected to the internet, otherwise none of them will work. So let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to launch that current slide, and you can see all I get is the big white envelope. This tells me that this video just no longer works. So I'm going to hit escape, hit the escape key, go back into PowerPoint. I'm going to have to go in and fix this. Uh, if I go to slide 13, I'm going to click here and do the same thing. I'm going to test it out. So I'm going to again pull the slide up, go to the little shade icon here. It's going to launch that. It takes a second or two, but you can see this actually launches right in YouTube and it's working. So I don't need to fix this one. It's working. Of course, if I want to swap out videos, I can do that as well. But let's go back to slide 12. I'm going to click on slide 12 and show you how to delete the current video. I can just click on this icon here, this white one. It works the same for the black ones too. Just click on it. You'll get the little dots going around the border. shows you that it's selected and then just hit delete and now you can see that it's gone well now we need to insert a new video so I've already gone out to YouTube and found one so I've got mine I'm gonna click on Chrome here here's the video I'm gonna use but I can't use it just yet what I need to do is turn on a tab up here on my toolbar on my ribbon and it's called the developer tab so I'm gonna go to file and I'm going to go all the way down to options. And once I'm in options, I'm going to go to customize ribbon. And I'm going to be working with the right hand side over here. So I am looking for the tab that says developer. And if you look here, here it is. And I want to place a checkbox to turn that on. And then I just click OK. And if you look across the top, now I have the developer tab. So what I'm going to do is at this point I'm going to click on developer and it shows me a couple little options. I'm going to go underneath controls in the controls area and you'll see the little tools here and it'll say more controls. I'm going to click on that. This brings up the more controls. I'm going to scroll down until I see shockwave flash object and there we have shockwave flash object I'm going to select that and I'm going to click OK and it doesn't look like anything happens but you get the crosshair this shows me how I can draw the window that the video is going to appear in so I'm going to go to towards the top right hand corner I am going to left click and hold and I'm going to draw that box that I want to use. And I'm going to make it cover almost the entire slide. And I'm going to let go. And here's our envelope. So the envelope shows up. And I've got that. I'm going to go back to my video that I've already found in YouTube. So I'm going to go here. And the address I'm going to use is actually in the address bar. 
I know that some people will go below the video, click share, grab an address. And we're not going to use that one. We're using this one right here. So I'm going to click here and select it. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy that link. Then I'm going back to PowerPoint. And I'm going to click on the white envelope. Once I do that, I have properties here. So I'm going to click on the properties for that envelope. And once I have it, you'll see I have a bunch of things in here already filled in, which is fine. And I'm going to click in movie. And I'm going to paste the link. Once I paste that link, you're not completely done. What we're going to do is we're going to take this link, I'm going to scroll through this link, and you're going to see the, the phrase watch and a question mark. I'm going to take out the question mark and the word watch. So I'm basically going to backspace until I hit that slash. So take out the question mark, take out the word watch. So there should now be a slash and a V. And the next thing I'm going to do is take out the equal sign and I'm going to replace it with a slash mark. So I'm going to hit backspace and then I'm going to put a forward slash. So get rid of the watch question mark and then replace the equal sign with a forward slash. That is our link here. Now I want it to auto start. So when it transitions to this slide, the video will automatically go to YouTube and start playing. So there's something else I have to add to the end. So what you have to do, go to the very end, add the AND symbol, and then type in auto play, that's all one word, equals one. So we add and auto play equals one at the very end. So now I can just go ahead and hit this red X and I want to test this video and make sure that it works. So again, I've got it here. I'm going to go down to the little shade. I'm going to click the shade. Give it a second or two and it should launch right into YouTube. It takes a second or two and one of the things you need to look at as you do this because we're going to make another change. I'm looking at the length of the video. Three minutes, nine seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and escape on out of here. And what I need to do is make sure that this video is actually going to transition correctly. So I'm going to go here to transitions. And if you look over here, it says that this slide is going to advance after 3 minutes and 56 seconds. That's the old video that was in here. You can see down here in my notes it says Civil War Wrap, 3 minutes 56 seconds. So I'm going to go here and I'm actually going to change this. And since the video is about 3 minutes 10 seconds, I'm going to change this to 3 minutes 15 seconds. I always like to add 5 seconds just for transition time. You can saw when I started it didn't jump right into YouTube automatically. It takes a couple of seconds. So I add about five seconds to the video. So now when I transition to this slide, it'll stay on this slide for three, three minutes and 15 seconds and then move to the next slide. And I'm going to go into my notes down here and I'm going to change my notes. These don't show up, but I like to keep up with what videos, which I could call this scientific method. And the video length is actually three minutes. 15 seconds. You don't have to do that part. You don't have to add the notes if you don't want to. So I have it here and again just going to double check. Pull up my previous slide. So I'm going to play this. Go down here and get this to play through. Just going to speed it up a little bit. It's going to go into our new slide. and it's in that video. So escape on out. And that's how you're going to change your videos. And in the future if you wanted to update a video, you can also just click on it. 
go to developer, go to properties, and if you have a new link, you can actually just paste that new link right in here and just change the video link in the future and change the transition times. And that's how you can maintain and update this video, uh, excuse me, this PowerPoint with videos that you want to change.